Hey everybody, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan and this is the part 3 of the concept of production modeling. So without further ado, let's get started. You can see this is our concept model and according to that we need to create the right production ready model with the right topology. So let's create it. To create that design we are going to use the plan and then you need to scale this plan along the x axis. After that you need to apply the scale and then you need to add one cylinder add there. So shift A add the cylinder and we will go with the 12 words. Then you need to go to the edit mode of that cylinder then select the top faces and then use the insert operation. After that you need to select the words and then right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words as like this. Then you need to select this edge loops with the shift select and then control B and then add one segment bevel on them. Then just you need to delete the faces as like this. After that just isolate that part and then select these edge loops and then right click breach edge loop and just try to fill the gaps. Then you can select these edges and then press F to fill the gap. After that you need to adjust the scale of the cylinder. Then select these words with the help of X-ray mode and then move these words along the X-axis. Move the another side words also along the X-axis and give the same factor. After that you can select both the objects and then use the boolean operation which is difference. So you will get this kind of design. Then you need to apply that boolean modifier and hide that cutter object. Then now just select these words right click connect vertex path and then Create a path in between the words and just try to create those supportive cuts on the model with the help of knife tool. Then here you can select the faces and delete only faces then delete the edge and then select the words and then press F to fill the gap. And then you need to select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. Then you can select these faces and then press I for the insert operation. Give the small thickness for the insert operation. Now just you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the loop structure for this boolean design. As like this. Just follow the tutorial so you can create it easily. Then just you need to select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. and then select this word and then merge these words and just try to create that proper loop structure at there then you can adjust the position of the words and you can refine your model then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the x and y axis then just here dissolve these edges and then create a new edges add there and just try to give the right position to the words and then just refine your model then you can select this center edge loop and then control B and then add bevel on this edge loop and add 10 segment add there we want to create those whole details so that's why we need to add more loop cuts at there. So go with the 10 segments. Then you need to select these faces with the shift select and then you need to use the insert operation at there. Give the factor that thickness amount and then select these faces and use the insert operation one more time and give the same thickness amount. Then you can select these faces and then right click and then use the loop tool and then circle option. Then change the transform pivot point to the individual origin and then scale it down. And then select everything and then take the symmetry along the x and y axis. Then you can see you can dissolve this edge loops. Ok now just need to select these faces and then use the insert operation and then you can delete the faces. 
so you will get those whole details those boolean details now just we need to add the support to loop cuts at here to maintain that boolean detail that core boolean detail so that's why you need to add the loop cuts like this just add few loop cuts at here you can add two loop cuts at here and we are going to use the redirection of each flow at here because we don't want to destroy the boolean detail that whole boolean detail so that's why we need to use the redirection h flow at here you can see here then you can merge the words like this and then you can dissolve this edge loops which are destroying that boolean detail and same thing i'm going to repeat at this side also i can create the same kind of loop structure for that boolean detail to maintain the curved structure of that boolean detail so watch the process carefully so easily you can create it so here i did a little bit of mistake but i can solve it by taking the symmetry so select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry and you can see the loop structure which i have created for just only that core boolean detail and then you can refine your model i am going to add the loop cuts like this i want to build that curveness at there so that's why i can adjust the position of the words and i can create that curve structure if you want to do this then you can otherwise you can add the straight loop cuts and you can create the harder corner at there that's also you can do then just you need to take the symmetry along the x and y axis now you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the supportive loop cuts like this means those supportive cuts which will help us to maintain the form of the model and then you can take the symmetry along the x and y axis and then go to the edit mode select everything and then e to extrude it and add a thickness on the model then you can select this face loops with the shift select and then use the insert operation just few add a loops at there and then you can shade smooth it and select this face loop and use the insert operation at there and then turn off that auto smooth and now you can see in this way you can create this kind of details on the model just i'm trying to add more details on it and easily i can do this thing you can see the topology of the model with this kind of topology you can create this kind of details so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye see you next video take care